Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new quick map feature in Fantasy Grounds, as well as how to use the quick map pack that is available now or part of your art pack subscription. Let's go. So what we're doing is we're going to show you how the new quick map feature works in Fantasy Grounds and how to use the quick map map pack that we just released. It is part of your art pack subscription or you can purchase it separately if you wish. Uh, we'll have a link to that available to you. <laughs> anyway, to get into it, uh, first off, we are showing you this in Pathfinder 2nd Edition rule set, but this is a native feature of Fantasy Grounds, and it will work in any and all of your rule set. Uh, but we're showing it in Pathfinder just because I had Pathfinder open uh, for another thing I was doing, and I figured, why not? Um, and I always show in other rule sets, so doing Pathfinder. Um, oh. So we had some character stuff up. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to come over to Asset. We're going to open up the Asset. Um, the, the big question we get is, for those that are unaware, we had a change to how Fantasy Ground handles Asset, images, maps, tokens, and all that. It used to be you had to load them as modules. Now they are always loaded into your Assets folder. Um, but the search feature is really, really handy for finding them quickly, and then you can save them down to your hotbar. So all we're going to do is, down here in the search bar, type quick, hit enter, and the first one that comes up right here, FG Quick Map, that is the map pack folder. Um, you'll find all of the quick maps laid out in there, and just for ease of use, we're going to grab the little dragon up there, drag this down to the hotbar, and now anytime if we need to get back into quick maps, we have them. I actually probably, if it was me, I'd probably put them back here because I usually put um, things that I need when I'm prepping a game uh, frequently on this side and then I lay out adventure stuff on the side. But anyway, so you notice there's just a bunch of maps and we could, if you wanted to, open these up kind of the normal way. Let's pick one. Let's pick like this forest lake and we could open these uh, the normal traditional way, we could create a map record, and that will open up, and you'll have you'll have your map all built. We can come over here and turn on the grid if we want, uh, but then we still have to add players and encounters and and set that up. And I'm feeling lazy today. I don't want to do that. We're gonna close that out. We're gonna open up the same map, and instead of hitting create image record, we're going to hit quick map. If we hit that, you'll get this window. You can see up here the map that you're using. We could drag an encounter right here. And then we can set up where we want the party. We want the party starting in this uh, bottom left corner because that's kind of where the path is. So they're going to start probably over here. And then where do we want the enemies? Maybe we want the enemies uh, like right there. And maybe there. And we'll do one there. So they're kind of over here in this section of the map. All right. Once we have that set up, um, you can do that before or after dragging in an encounter. I just did it before just because we're going to come over to campaign, grab an encounter. We're going to find an encounter. Um, I guess I don't have any characters in my party sheet. Um, so make sure you've, or combat tracker, I mean. So make sure you've got that. Let's toss in our player characters. They're all level one or two. Uh, maybe three max. So let's not pick anything too uh, too challenging. Let's just look through a couple of these. Probably not that. Probably not that. Um, in fact, let's, instead of doing it this way, let's create our own encounter. Let's create a new one so that you can see that this will work even with brand new encounters. So we've got a new encounter. We'll call it Goblin Camp. I love goblins. Why not? As that's your thing. It's going to be the uh, Goblin Camp. We will come over to Bestiary. And we're going to grab some Goblin. Uh, we'll grab a Goblin Warrior. We'll throw in two Goblin Warriors. What? A, uh, a Goblin Dog. Maybe three dogs. And a goblin commando sounds like a leader. And a goblin commando. Car. 
that seems like a it seems like a pretty good encounter for our party. So what we're gonna do is now that we've got this encounter created, we can uh just gonna lock this off and then grab our drag record link, the little dragon icon. We're gonna drag that into this little box under encounter. So we'll add that encounter to the map. And when we hit submit, well, we get Chloe for the it'll take a second. And we've got our encounter laid out. You can see that everybody is added to the combat tracker. We're going to close combat tracker right now because we're just going to zoom in. And we can zoom in and see that our party is over here in this corner. We've got some dogs over there. We have some of these guys over here. And this guy's placed in the water. We'll just drag him down. We've got our goblin ambush pre-set up, ready to go. All we have to do is go over here, reveal all our enemies when we want to. When our players walk in to the trap. Boom. We've got a, a combat that is fully set up onto a map with very little effort. Quickest way you can make an encounter. And that took what? A couple of minutes? Three, three or four minutes, maybe? And we have a great encounter already set up for you. All right, hey, if you found this video helpful, please remember to Leave a like, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell so you stay up to date on all new Fantasy Grounds videos. And remember, you can always learn more at fantasygrounds.com.